Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can improve the voiceover and podcast audio quality by using stock plugins and a couple of commercial plugins that are not required, they just speed up the process. So let's take a look at how we can improve our audio in the future quickly and easily in Reaper. So right now I've got some audio that I recorded for a previous video tutorial and this is just the voiceover. So if I just play that you can hear what it sounds like. Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's video we're going to be taking a look at a Brainworks plugin that allows us to take a mono feed and convert it into a pseudo stereo feed. So you can see it's pretty clean to start off with but there's still some work we could do on it. If you take a look at the waveform I'm on a screen at the moment, you can see I've got this clean line with just a couple of little marks on it. And this is my initial silence that I use to first of all do the noise reduction. So by doing this, it gives us the ability to make sure that we can just sample the ambient audio and ensure that we can clean that out of our voiceover. Now something to, to take into consideration at this point is that this is only being used for noise reduction. If you've got louder noises or you've got things in there that might actually encroach upon the audio that's being recorded, you will get some strange effects and you may find it's detrimental to the overall audio quality. But I found in this circumstance, in the room that I'm recording this in, as long as I leave that ambient audio at the beginning, it cleans up the rest of my audio nicely without having any real impact upon the voice. So let's take a look at, first of all, how we can clean up the audio and get rid of any noise, and then we'll take a look at moving on and EQing. So like I said, I've already created an effects chain that I use on all of my audio. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load that in so you can see all the effects that I'm running on there, and then we'll take them off and we'll go through step-by-step step what is done with each one of them and why I use them. So if I right-click on the effects inserts, you can see I've got add effects chain and I've got my voiceover. So I can click on that, that'll load up all my effects and I'm good to go, ready to start working. I definitely recommend when you're doing this kind of thing to set up your own effects chain because it just speeds up your process of doing repetitive tasks like this. So you can see that I've got five different steps in my particular effects chain. And I'm just going to turn all of these off except for the first one, which is my noise reduction. And as you can see, I've already got... Uh, the noise reduction from a previous um, setup using this particular effects chain. So we want to get rid of that. So I just check the box to automatically build a noise uh, profile. And then it's simply going to come to my audio. I'm going to create a selection over this silent part. And then I'm just going to put my playhead back at the beginning, hit the loop. And now when I run this, it's going to sample this particular section for any ambient noise that's in there. Now you can see at the beginning, I've got a little little blip, should we say, on the waveform. Now, I know that's where I've clicked the mouse to bring up something on screen, so I'm going to avoid that because I don't want to cut that out of there. I want just the ambient noise. I can cut that off later on in the video. That's not a problem. So let's just sample this by hitting play. Our waveform now goes through and checks to see any ambient noise that's in this particular portion of recording. I can let it loop if I want to, if I've got a shorter section, but that's fine for now. So I just hit stop. There's our noise reduction profile, so I'll uncheck that so it applies to this audio all the way through. And that's the first thing, and that's going to clean up our audio. So we'll quickly A-B that. Now, this is the kind of thing you're probably going to need to turn your speakers up a little bit to hear this. And while I'm doing it, I won't actually do any voiceover. And I'll loop this so there's no loud noises in there. So put my playhead at the beginning. Like I say, recommend turn your speakers up so you can listen to this, and you'll hear the noise reduction in effect. So this is with it. So that should be completely quiet. And this is without it. You should find you'll get some hiss and some just, just general ambient background noise. Okay, so that's stage one. I'm going to go on to the final stage on this a second because I want to use the compressor just to show you what we're doing with that and why I use it. Now, my voiceover is pretty consistent. I don't really use any harsh uh, volume changes in what I'm saying, but it is the kind of thing that sometimes it's good to smooth out the vocals if you find that they're just a little too dynamic, there's a little bit too much uh, volume in there. And all I've done is I've used a stock layout for background vocals, which I will then adjust to taste should I need them. So if we just run the audio, so let's just get rid of this 
selection, take this off, and we'll go to the audio. I can see if, I, if I'm actually applying any compression to this with the volume changes. Hi, and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a Brainworks plugin that allows us to take a mono feed and convert it into a pseudo stereo feed. Now, this is great if you're dealing with single track guitars and you want to make them sound wider and more interesting. It's going to give you a much. So, what you can see is there's a small amount of compression being applied to this just to smooth my vocals out by probably about 1, 1 1.2 dB reduction in there. Now, with the auto makeup on there, it boosts the level and we start to clip. So all I do is just bring the wet back down or you can just uncheck the auto makeup and you can adjust your volume using another method. But like I say, that's just there if I want to smooth this out. And I find that the background vocals one works quite well because there's not a huge amount of attack and release to worry about because we're just doing a voiceover. But again, you know, this is the kind of thing that there's no hard and fast rule to this. Adjust it to your, to your own particular circumstances. You may find you need it, you may find you don't. Now, even if you're using a pop filter on your microphone, it's still good that I found to actually apply a de -esser. Now, I'm using a, a Waves one, but obviously you could quite happily use the de that ships with Reaper. There's no problem with that, and you'd adjust it to your own sort of your own voice to avoid those plosives and things like that. Again, if I just run that, we'll see that you'll see on the graph here that you'll see some, some adjustment taking place on my voice. Hi, and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a Brainworks plugin that allows us to take a mono feed and convert it into a suit. So not a huge amount of DSing going on there, because when it comes to voiceovers, it's not quite so problematic as it is when you're trying to do vocals in a song. So I just put it on there because it does reduce it ever so slightly and just cleans it up a little bit. The other thing I like to do is I use the SPL Vox Ranger, which if I just bring that in, and it's just effectively a vocal-based uh, EQ. And when I say vocal-based, it means it focuses on the frequencies that are commonly found in both male and female vocals. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm boosting a little bit of the low end to give it that sort of proximity effect because I don't like talking too close to the microphone. And I'm just sort of boosting between the 420, the 330, and the 220 kilohertz. And I might adjust the output if I need to. And if we just put that on, you'll find that all it does is it just introduces a little clarity at the top end of my voice and a little bit of warmth at the low end without hopefully clipping. So I'll switch that on. And if we, ooh, excuse me, if we have a listen to that with and without, you should find you notice the, the slight difference in the, the warmth and the clarity of my voice. So let's just play that without and I'll enable it. Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a Brainworks plugin that allows us to take a mono feed and convert it into a pseudo stereo feed. Now, this is so hopefully what you can see, like I say, is it, it just introduces that little bit of warmth, the little bit of extra clarity, just to clean up the overall vocal. And then finally, I've got one of the plugins as this part of Easy Mix, which is just clear up vocals. And this is just effectively applying a slight addition of uh, additional correct compression and a little bit more EQ and I just find again like I say this just cleans up the vocals I could quite easily use this and adjust the compression the rumble detection in this but I found that for me personally the combination of this and the stock uh, compressor and also adding some Vox Ranger from SPL in there gives me the kind of voiceover that I'm looking for which isn't too bass orientated isn't too thin but it has a nice clarity to everything that I'm saying so that really is all there is to my vocal tracks. So what I'll do is I'll just close this down and then I'll show you the vocals with my effects chain off and then I'll switch it on so you can see the difference. Obviously there's gonna be a volume change there because we've applied the compressor with some makeup gain, but you should find that it just the vocals clean up slightly and they just give a better quality overall impression. So let's try that without. Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a Brainworks plugin that allows us to take a mono feed and convert it into a pseudo stereo feed. And with. Hi, and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a Brainworks plugin that allows us to take a mono feed and convert it into a pseudo stereo feed. Now, this is. So, hopefully, what you can see with this technique is it gives you much better quality voiceover with much cleaner audio where we take out the ambient noise. And obviously, when it comes to recording videos and things for things like uh, YouTube and, you know, for presentations, clean voiceover is exactly what you're looking to achieve. 
Well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all the new additions to the Reaper TV channel. If you've got any comments or questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on this channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Remember, we have exclusive content over at reapertv.co.uk that's not available anywhere else. And we release new videos every Friday. So until next time, happy mixing.